What's good guys? It's your boy Jada. And here we are again for another QA. Uh before I start, just wanna say that I am not a guru. I'm not a fitness guru. Um I'm only gonna just answer these questions based on what I think and things what I've done in my opinion. Anyway, but like I said, I'm just trying to make this like a kind of a every Friday thing. So yeah, let's go. Um got a question here from Emily Pops. No, Emil Pops, sorry about that. Yeah, okay, so it says, what subs do you use and how many sessions do you do? Okay, supplement-wise, what I like to use is creatine and leucine and uh, my, 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 multi, my multivitamin, so that's vit C's, blah, 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 all that stuff. So, um, yeah, that's what I use. Uh, how many sessions do you do? I do run about maybe three to four. During this prep, I did four to five because obviously I have to get serious, right? Okay, um, got another question here from Benjamin Boxan. What's up with these hard names? <laughs> okay, um, asking what helps you with self control diet wise? Okay, um, obviously, with this prep that I went through, you have to be serious, right? I don't want to, I didn't want to be on stage looking like people were blowing me out I didn't want that and that was motivation enough for me to just say you know what I don't want those cupcakes I don't want those donuts but I mean for your everyday guy what you could do is I don't know you could have like cheat days here and there uh, you know like every weekend you know just so you can have something rather than having it every day that should help with you know self control and all that alright um, got another question here from unique wisdom uh, do I train for strength yes that's in the name strength aesthetics that's what I believe I believe I can be strong and look good at the same time so I do train for strength so it's low reps but I kind of mix it in between both so I do my low reps and I do my hypertrophy work so yeah so I do train for strength yeah um, a question here for a side rocky 24 uh, what type of cardio do you do? Um, I do, I go on the Stairmaster or the treadmill. Hate the treadmill, but, you know, for that fat loss, you, that's that's all it is. I just needed a, something to like put a dent in the calories I was eating. And it doesn't really matter what type of cardio you do, as long as it's raising your heart rate and you're burning calories. That's all that matters. It doesn't matter what type. So... Yeah, that's what I do. Um, I got another question from Art Art Neil. Are rest days a must? Um, rest days, I think they're a must because if you do work hard in the gym, if you do work hard, your central nervous system will be zapped. Your central nervous system is what's going to control your muscles to actually push, and if it's not rested or if it's not totally recovered your sessions are just going to go down and down and down and down and down the performance wise so I like to rest I like to have rest days here and there and at the same time when you're in gym you're breaking down you're breaking down muscle right but outside of the gym is where it's building right so rest days are when you are growing in my opinion anyway but I think they're important so I say keep rest days in there um, JMH1608 um, I am a beginner what muscle group should I work in as in a session it doesn't matter as long as you're getting the work in right you can work biceps with calves if you want to so it doesn't really matter I wouldn't really worry about stuff like that as long as you're working those areas that you want to work right um, and then she also asks, I don't want to look muscly, do I do high reps? Um, I think for, in my opinion, I think for females, they should work more in the strength area, doing the lower reps, because if you don't want to put on mass, the higher reps is more likely to do that if that makes sense because you're pushing you're pushing you're pushing you're pushing you're breaking down the muscle right 
and what's going to happen is it's going to grow when it's broken down but with strength training all you're doing is just pretty much just utilizing what you've got and it's not really breaking down you're basically just teaching the muscle to be more efficient that's what I think uh, the higher rep stuff I mean for girls you for girls to really put on mass it's really hard because everything needs to be in check your testosterone isn't going to be as much as a guys so you ain't going to really be putting on that much if that makes sense so I wouldn't really worry about that being a girl but personally I think females should if they don't want to get bigger I think they should be focusing on strength training the lower reps because it's not going to break down muscle it's just gonna just help them utilize the muscle they've got better hope that makes sense <laughs> um gracious k the only one and only gracious k i'm asking uh the best way to uh, increase muscle volume and vascularity um what i've learned is during my peak week i was um eating like carbs and stuff well no no i wasn't eating carbs okay forget that um what i've learned basically was vascularity is is genetics some people are just naturally vascular i'm not one of them i'm not one of those guys who are naturally vascular but what i found that gave me a little bit of vascularity was sugar i took some quick like uh, because i was working at working out and um, I had like um, a biscuit that like, had fast acting carbs, a lot of sugar in it. And before I know it, I was just vascular and nasty looking. And yeah, that. so I would say maybe add some sugar in. And obviously for volume, that's carbs. Carbs can only go into, I think, your liver and muscles. So carb up and then you should be able to, get, you know, be bigger. And um, I think last question here is from Jay Way 94 how many weeks did I cut um, 15 weeks it was long but to get to where I had to get I think I thought that was just enough time for me to get where I was because I was a bigger guy well I, I was holding a quite a lot of mass and for me to fit in this physique category that I wanted to be in I had to come down a lot so and besides it was going to be my first cut so I wanted it so if mistakes were going to be made I could pretty much correct them if so and that's why I took so long so yeah 15 weeks out to cut 15 weeks for me to cut well and that's that's it so I hope you guys enjoyed the little Q&A I tried to keep it real short and sweet um, I will keep I will try and do this every Friday so I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys learned something from it. I hope you guys that helped. Uh, see you guys next week.